And just like that, second last field of winter barley. Let's go hack this down. It doesn't look very pretty, does it? It's blowing the hooey, so you won't hear me out there, but we were combining at the time. SSE have come and taken down the poles. There's no electric lines here now. It's smashing. New pole. So it used to run basically along the top there on the right side of that shed up to the pole in the distance. That's the new pole. Two poles in between have been dropped and the wire has been put in that trench up the side of the field. That's sorted now, so shed builders have no worries with getting big cranes in and putting big steels up. Sunday today, we're combining. We've got a day of sport on the radio. And then you hit Monday and the radio's back to nothing. Kev's back with the discs. We've been using the discs alone with no packer, no legs. Kev's about to go and put the plow on, but before that, well, we're both here. Put the packer back on, because it's kind of a two-man job. I've been and fetched the top link off the other stone grape. It is now ready. Kev's just fueling up. We need to chuck a few plow points in here and some tools. It's on. The box is uh, a little bit tight. We're going to just mess about it in all the different positions it can be in just to check the box doesn't get crushed. The arms on the New Holland are definitely slightly longer. I sized it on that rather than this. Just shifted the box a tiny fraction back. So hopefully that gap in there is slightly bigger now. It's off for his first outing. As you can see, the toolbox is off. Ah, just, it's just fractionally too big for the fence on the back there. So I might have to remount it on the front. I don't really want to either that or make, get a smaller box, but this is the smallest they do. That's how much it doesn't fit by. That tiny wee indent. I put a tiny wee ding in both corners. When it's on the new horn, it fits fine. But on the fence over there, just doesn't quite. <laughs> How to get two dogs very excited. Two big bones. Stay. Stay. Betty, that's it. Go on, Baxter. He's going to grab that and run off. Take it on his own. Okay, we're just coming into the final field of spring barley we've got. Since we've farmed this farmyard three, it's been grass all the time, so we've never had to take the header in or the combine in, so not actually very sure if we'll be able to fit in the gateway. Concrete's been arriving all day for the foons up there at the shed. So I think all them will be finished by the end of today, and then we're ready for the steel and the guys to build this shed. They're coming on the 11th of September. She's tight anyway, but she's in. I took a shunt with the reel there, but I made it. She's just getting the pivot. The gateway's wide enough, but you have to turn quite a bit and pivot. I may or may not have scuffed the fuel tank. Hopefully I've not made a dent. Let's see where I scuffed the fence post. Well, you can hardly see it. There you go, that's where I've scuffed it a wee ding in that frame that goes round the base of the diesel tank. I've done worse. There's the mark on the post I made. At least it was a wooden one. We need to really basically take that strain out. There's a ditch here and it's filled in a bit. Take it further back. I had to go through here with a trolley and it was quite a it's quite a hollow in there. We're in and we're off. Pack it down. I don't know what size this field is. We've never actually combined in here before. It's always been grass. It's been let out, it's not our field. First year we've cropped it, it's seed barley in it just now, so 30 acres, something like that. See if I can negotiate this out the gate. Steady does it, steady does it. It's a bit easier when there's not a header on it anyway. We'll nip and see Kev, he's just started plowing in here. So far so good. Kev's not actually had to lift any stones yet, and also he thinks it could do with a tiny bit more weight. So I've got room for another six weight blocks on it. So I think we'll put four on two either side and see how that is. It's fine in this field because there's no big slopes in it. But Kev's thinking if you add in a slope to that, it could still do with a touch of weight on the front. But we're getting there. Progress. And she blows. Lovely, jubbly. Plow's going fine as well. 
neat and tidy job that. Right, I better hurry up, he's got his trailer on and catch up with the combine. I'm gonna come back once Kev's got a few stones and see all the chips and the paint and Ooh. But ultimately it's a stone grape, it's, it's got stones whacking against it, the paint's never gonna stay bang on. Trailer's over here, dad dropped off last night, ready for today. Just need to change the drawbar out. Ready for action. These trailers are ready for a wash. We've got some oats to cut and then we're done. So we'll give everything a clean down after that. Baba bing, baba boom. Gone. Done. That's the full trailer. Combine's ready to go. We'll get the header on here. Dad's coming along to get the header. And that's spring barley done. We've only got eight acres of oats left. Finally see the end of harvest. It's been a, the to look from the outside in, it's been a horrible harvest. Massively high input costs. Sale prices right now are rubbish. Crops have been mediocre. Weather's been poor. What can you do? Nothing. Seed oats next for this trailer, so needs a full clean down. Got all the barley out of it. There's some up in the top corners and there'll be some stuck in that chute. Kev's had a good day plowing. This will be his final round, I think. It's just about eight o'clock now. Sun's going down belter of a day. He's either emptied the stone grape or it's hardly been needed used. One stone. Last thing to do with the stone grape, obviously I need to sort the toolbox. Uh, I need to get a couple more weights. Plow seems to be working fine. We've actually bought some knockoff points so these are normal bolt-on reversible points on that plow once we've finished using them we've got chap on points I'm gonna try them for a wee bit see if they're any use some people rave about them some people don't like them at all but we'll give them a hurl still got all the paint on it it's a good start shed update Ooh, what stage are we at we are ready for steel bolt boxes are all in so these have all been poured today so there's a few smaller ones as well that is a slight doorway which we put bales into. You will all see it come together when we're finished. Let's see how soft or hard this is. Oh, it's pretty hard. Happy days, we're starting to go up the way now. Dead excited for steel arriving. Where I'm standing right now, right, right, well, hold on, let me get this right. Here is where the crush is going. That bit over there is the main shed. Those foons mark out basically a channel where cattle walk down into the handling system, which is all in here. Up here, there's bull pens at the far end. Handling system goes down in a U-shape back up to here where the crush is. There's a kind of slight, it's not dead space, but it'll just be an extra bit of pen there. The width of the lean-to had to be a certain width for the three bull pens. Probably actually should have put four in, but three suited the space and three will be fine. We've got other bits and bobs where we can figure out a bull to go. Three bull pens, which dictated the size of the lean-to. Didn't want to go out a wee bit with a bit of lean to then bring it back in it doesn't cost a huge amount to add to finish off the lean to and it just looks all a lot neater and tidier but anyway of a night don't forget the two farming crawfords podcast we have a new episode out go and have a listen we talk a lot of nonsense <laughs>